Hello YouTube, my name is Frank from Lightning Tech PC and today I'm going to show you how to desolder and solder uh, capacitors on a motherboard. Um, this is just a general little board I pulled off a television um, that I'm replacing capacitors on. Uh, now this technique took me quite a while to to actually do comfortably. Um, it was very difficult for me to learn and I did learn on my own um, now, one of the reasons why I had such a difficult time doing this is I just never had the best soldering um, iron for this job. Um, there were so many that I've dealt with, uh, powered, battery, um, all kinds, and I just hated the job. So I used to just have another tech and just pay them to come in and do it or ship it out uh, to get boards uh, repaired. But uh, I don't have to do that no more because I finally got the perfect soldering iron. Uh, this one's a Weller. It's a WPS 18 MP. Um, this this iron seems to do the job perfectly, and I, I can't believe how easy this really is. I'm going to show you with the proper tools how simple this is, especially if you've done this before and uh, you just try over and over and you can't seem to melt the soldering or anything like that. This is definitely going to make your life better. Um, hopefully, I'm, I'm I really help you with this video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first of all, we have um, two bad capacitors left on this board because I did the other four. Um, they're right here. They're 25 volt, um, uh, what was it, 25 volt, 820 microfarads. These are the new ones that I'm going to put on the board. Um, so these, this one right here and this one's a little swollen. There were, I had a few on here that was blown, and I replaced them with these new ones, um, including that one as well. Um, this 330 microfarad, 25-volt uh, capacitor. But these are the two that's left. So let's do this. So I'm going to kind of eyeball where the soldering's at for this one. As you can see, it's right there. Real simple. Okay. I'm going to turn my gun on. I'm going to wait till this light turns green. Once it turns green, I can get started. We're going to use the soldering braid. Um, I found that this is the best stuff to use. I got it at Radio Shack. Um, didn't cost much. There you go, if you can see it. It's just copper wire. Oh, which one was that again? Where would it go? Okay, there it is. So. Once the light turns green, there it is, it just turned green. I'm going to go ahead and put a new, actually, let me cut off the, one, the part I used. I'm just going to start fresh. So you always want to use a fresh piece of braid. Okay. Now what you want to do, if you can see that, there we go. You just basically just put the braid right over the solder point and just press the gun on it. Fresh piece of braid. Give it a little bit of pressure. There it is. Got a little bit off. And get another fresh piece of area of the braid and go right over it and press, giving it a little bit of pressure. You can see some smoke coming out. There we go. Another fresh area. Press right over the part you want removed. Give it a second. Okay. Looks like most of that's gone already. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other one. Get a fresh piece of the braid and press. I'm going to get another fresh piece of the braid again. Press. And then go back to the other one. Press again on the fresh piece of braid. There we go. 
Pretty sure I did good that time. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and wipe my soldering iron tip on a wet sponge. You don't want it soaking wet, just damp. As you can see, if there's any soldering on the tip, it gets this nice shiny finish. If you wiped it well. Okay, you want to keep it that way. We'll turn it off, let it cool down. I'll let you see what I did. As you can see, there's these perfect holes now, right where the capacitor was soldered on. Now, use any little flat piece of pry tool and straighten those pins out that are bent. Go to the other one. Okay. Okay, now that it's straightened out, there's still going to be some solder left on these on these on these tips where the capacitor soldered on. That's going to make it hard to pull out. And we just want to make the job as easy as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and desolder some more of that right around that area. So if it's easier for you, just clip off the messy tip of the braid. Start fresh. Turn on your soldering iron. Wait till it's green. Then we'll finish this part up as soon as it turns green. Now all the other soldering irons I bought from Radio Shack, um, they just never worked. They just could not get this soldering hot enough to, to, to work. None of this stuff worked. I just sat here all day long pressing the tip on there. I don't know what in the world was going on. Didn't matter if I had a, you know, 18 watt or whatever. It just didn't work. This gun seems to be my companion, my best friend. I couldn't be happier. In fact, I was so happy I had to, I had to make this video just to demonstrate how easy this really is. And I see a lot of other videos out there and people ask, where'd you get that gun? What type is it? You know, it's just, uh, it's funny. Okay, it looks like I got a little bit more here. I need to get off. There we go. Kind of hard to see in the light. The light's kind of bright. I'm going to take that part off too. Yeah. There we go. All right. So I'm going to wipe the tip now. Nice and shiny. That's very important because you want to save that tip. You don't want to ruin it. You have to replace it all the time. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out now. Look at that. Nice and loose. <laughs> There it is. Now the, shi the shiny uh, section of this capacitor, which is the ground, it's going to be, it's color coded right here on the board. So every board has it a little bit different, but it's pretty close enough. We should go ahead and get our new capacitor. Look for that shiny side, the ground. Put it right through. Now, we'll flip it over and make sure it's straight. Let's we'll go ahead and bend this like that and bend it like that. There, that'll stay still. I'll go ahead and solder it on. So, just get any, let's see, mag torch. I think I got this one at Radio Shack. Or Home Depot, they both have them. Rosen Core wire solder. Um, this one is lead free. It's fairly thick. Just fine. It, you know, just about any of them will work, especially for this gun. <laughs> so I'll just turn it on, wait till it's green.
two, two, two. There it is. Okay, it's ready. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of soldering on here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, it might be a little too much, but that's okay. I'll use it for both tips. So I'll go ahead and put it on. There's one. And put it on that one. I just kind of work myself around that point. Try to keep it neat. There it is. Simple as that. I'll go ahead and wipe the tip now. See, it was a big mess on my tip. Ah, just a little more on there. Don't want too much. Okay, nice and shiny. Okay, turn it off. Put it away. And that looks really good. As you can see, I got it all the way around very easily. I'll just get my fancy Stanley Clippers. And go ahead and clip it. Simple as that. There it is. It's on there real tight. And that's that. I'm not going to do the other one. I'm just going to waste too much time doing another one on the video. Uh, you get the point. It's very easy when you got the right tools. Again, it's the Weller a WPS 18MP. This is the tool, my friend. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good day.